Coming to comparative statements. Comparative statement compares the financial numbers at two points of time and captures the changes in the same. This change is presented in absolute amount form and in percentage form. So students, analyzing this definition, it makes it very clear that comparative statements are prepared to compare the performance of business at two different points of time. That is, you are actually trying to compare or assess the increase or decrease in the profitability or in the financial position of the business at two different points of time. That can be two different financial years. Then those changes are recorded separately and are presented both in the absolute amount form that is in the form of money and the percentage form that is how much they have changed in relative terms. So that brings us to comparative statements. So students, we can have comparative statements in both the forms. That is, we can have comparative income statement and we can have comparative balance sheet as well. So then comparative statement would be in the form of comparative income statement Or we can also write it as comparative profit and loss account. This is one and the same thing. The second part would be comparative position statement. That is actually comparative balance sheet. So now in this case, that is comparative income statement or what we call as comparative profit and loss account as well. We actually try to compare the performance of business over two different year period. That is two different financial years are compared to bring about the changes in the patterns of expenses and profit. Whereas in case of comparative position statement, we actually try and analyze how much our financial position has changed over n number of years or for those two years for which we are actually comparing. 